Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 facts about ISRO. People are applauding. Land Let us all mind. wait to hear. For this list, we'll be looking at the best, most interesting, and most important facts about the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. And if science and space is kind of your thing, then be sure to subscribe to our dedicated channel, Unveiled, right after this. Number 10. It started with one small step. ISRO formed on August 15, 1969, less than a month after the Apollo 11 moon landing. While NASA was capturing headlines all over the world, ISRO was setting out its stall. The scientist and astronomer Vikram Sarabhai is remembered as the father of Indian space travel. He became the chairman of the Indian National Committee for Space Research. He's widely credited as the driving force during the organization's earliest moments. Having previously campaigned for and fronted an earlier setup, the Indian National Committee for Space Research. Although Sarabhai unfortunately died early in 1971, he'd built the foundations, and ISRO's first success came via satellite. India, in partnership with the Soviet Union, launched its first satellite, Aryabhata, in 1975. Fast forward to today, and ISRO runs one of the strongest satellite fleets in the world. Vikram Sarabhai's vision has been realized within a very short span of time. Number 9. Small Budget, Big Goals In 2022, ISRO funding was just short of 2 billion US dollars which sounds like a lot until you compare it to NASA, which received $24 billion in that same year. China's CNSA receives around $12 billion. The European Space Agency has around $8 billion. ISRO never gets even close to the expenditure of its rivals, and yet it still ranks as one of the most successful and influential space agencies on the planet. What the ISRO and India's space sector is most proud of is what they've achieved with so little. Today, that's partly thanks to a modern approach to partnering with private enterprises, with the Indian government running a dedicated branch to directly link ISRO to the private sector. India's first Mars mission cost less than the film The Martian. But ISRO performing beyond its means is also backed into its ethos. During a speech in 1968, Vikram Sarabhai conceded that ISRO didn't have the, quote, fantasy of competing with wealthier nations, but he also pledged that it would play, quote, a meaningful role in the application of advanced technologies to man and society, end quote. Number 8. Trouble on the Moon Chandrayaan-1 is India's first mission to the moon launched by India's National Space Agency, the Indian Space Research Organization. For every international space agency, a journey to the moon is something of a rite of passage. But for ISRO, that journey has been far from plain sailing. The Chandrayaan program is India's primary lunar initiative. It was announced in 2003 and Chandrayaan-1 was launched in 2008. The ISRO successfully launched Chandrayaan-1 on 22 October 2008. It was a lunar orbiter designed to move around the moon, equipped with one moon impact probe, which was successfully deployed. However, the orbiter suffered a number of technical difficulties, and although the mission had been planned for two years, it was ended after just 312 days. Next came Chandrayaan-2, which included another orbiter and rover ready to land and move on the surface. We have ignition. Launched in 2019, the orbiter worked fine, but the rover irredeemably crashed following a reported software failure. Number 7. Lunar Redemption After the first and second launches, there may have been some anxiety surrounding Chandrayaan-3, but ultimately there was no need to worry. Launched in July 2023, it made a lunar orbital insertion on August 5th of that year. It again carried a probe made for the surface, but this time was able to deploy it successfully. The Pragyan rover, which translates as the Wisdom rover, successfully landed at the lunar south pole on August 23rd. It marked the first time that anyone had made a soft landing in this particular region of the moon and was then tasked with conducting a wide range of experiments to learn more about its new home. Notably, and in honor of ISRO's founding father, Sarabhai, the vehicle that ferried the rover for both Chandrayaans 2 and 3 was named Vikram. Number 6. Mars in 1 
For all the issues that ISRO may have had with the Moon, there have been no such problems with Mars. In the 21st century, it seems like everyone wants to go to Mars, but ISRO is one of a tiny few that have actually managed it. The Mars Orbiter mission, otherwise known as Mangalyaan, was launched in November 2013 and began busily circling the red planet after orbital insertion on September 24, 2014. When it arrived, it made ISRO just the fourth space agency to reach Martian orbit, after Russia's Roscosmos, NASA, and the European Space Agency. The Mangalayan spacecraft entered the Red Planet's orbit on Wednesday after a journey of more than 10 months. What's particularly impressive, however, is that ISRO is the only one so far to achieve it on the first attempt. While everyone else has a history pitted with failed Mars missions, ISRO has a 100% success rate. The first time a, a, a space agency has managed to do it on their maiden mission, and of course also they've done it at a fraction of the cost. Number 5. ISRO Stares at the Sun The year 2023 will go down as a pretty important one in the annals of ISRO. First Chandrayaan-3 and then Aditya L1. ISRO is now going to launch India's first mission to understand the Sun. Aditya L1 is a solar observatory. If the mission continues as planned after launch in September 23, then it will position itself at a location in space known as the L1 Lagrange point and intricately monitor the sun from there. The L1 Lagrange point is an area where the gravitational influences of the sun and earth reach an equilibrium, allowing for controlled and reliable positioning. It's almost one million miles away from our planet though. The probe itself will primarily study space weather, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections. Although the Sun is some 93 million miles away from us, these phenomena can have a major impact on Earth. It will be continuously observing the solar surface. Number 4. ISRO is fixing fuel No matter what, rocket fuel has been a constant puzzle for any space mission throughout history. In short, to get a spacecraft off the ground, you need a lot of fuel. But to carry all of that fuel, you need more fuel, and so on. One, zero. Lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis. Which is why it traditionally takes huge machines to get even a tiny payload into the sky. All space agencies are hoping to change that. In ISRO's case, the answer could lie with ISROCENE, which the Indian authorities describe as a rocket grade version of kerosene and an alternative to conventional hydrazine rocket fuel. It's hoped that ISROCENE will be much more efficient than past iterations. Meanwhile, India is experimenting with electronic propulsion systems, with hopes that it will soon be sending up fully electric satellites at least. Number 3. ISRO will travel to hell. In the world of space travel, the road to hell is paved with anything that can get you to Venus. The second closest planet to the Sun is also widely dubbed Earth's evil twin on account of how toxic and deadly it is. It's full of clouds that rain sulfuric acid and whip around the planet at speeds up to 224 miles per hour. Venus is hot, really hot, with surface temperatures around 900 degrees Fahrenheit, or 475 Celsius, largely thanks to a dramatically runaway greenhouse effect. And yet, India wants to pay it a visit. Venus is so inhospitable, neither humans nor spacecraft are able to survive the planet's surface. The Venus Orbiter mission, otherwise known as Shukrayaan, is a planned four-year exploration set to launch in late 2024 at the earliest. Through it, ISRO will study the Venusian atmosphere and the specific composition of this scorching, rocky world. Other agencies have been to Venus before, and many have failed. So could ISRO buck the trend again? Shukrayaan-1 will be able to carry 100 kg and around 16 Indian. Number 2. ISRO is building its own space base. The International Space Station is perhaps one of humankind's greatest ever achievements. But with rumors that the ISS could soon be decommissioned, the landscape in near-Earth orbit is changing. ISRO actually isn't involved with the ISS program, and there's never been an Indian astronaut on board. But there are plans for ISRO to build its own station starting in the 2030s. A brief outline was announced in 2019 by the then ISRO chair, K. Sivan. As a long-term plan, we are planning to have the space station by India, our own space station. If plans go ahead, then India's space station will weigh around 20 tons to start with and will be able to host up to three people for up to 20 days at a time. With reports that we're also on the brink of private space stations too, it really is all change up there. Orbital Reef is a full-fledged commercial space station. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Vyomonauts are coming. Of course, before that space-based dream can be realized, ISRO needs a human presence in space. All of its great successes so far have been uncrewed, remotely controlled probes and landers. But that will change with Gaganyaan, the key vehicle in the Indian Human Spaceflight Program. This mission will launch from the Sri Harikota spaceport in Andhra Pradesh. It will carry a three-man team of Vyomnuts. While the schedule was initially delayed due to the pandemic, ISRO does have a clear pathway to getting people into orbit. Gaganyaan-1 in 2024 will be an uncrewed test flight. Gaganyaan-2, again in 2024, will carry a humanoid robot. Gaganyaan-3, tabled for 2025, will carry three crew members. The manned mission will take place. Our current schedule is end of 24 or early 25. It will be the first time that ISRO has ever sent humans into space. And those pioneers will be known as Vyomanauts, not astronauts, with Vyoma being the Sanskrit word for sky. It is intended to send three astronauts to space for a minimum of seven days. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.